I'm wondering, Ambassador yes. Rene, you were also involved in even the planning of his last U.S. Africa Business Forum that took place in New York when he addressed the African leaders on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Do you see like there has been any impact coming out of that con conference, yeah, you know, that uh, summit? Have we seen anything tangible, really, from the African continent arising actually, from that? I actually think we have, and I would agree with my colleagues here on, on just about everything they said. I think one of the things about legacy is what gets carried forward into the next administration. And certainly Yali uh, is one that I think uh, all of us would recommend go forward. The one thing I would add to the Yali uh, paradigm is to include engagement with the diaspora here in the United States, which didn't happen, but uh, the powers that be are aware of that, that that's something that needs to be tweaked. On the business side, I think he's done a tremendous job. I'm actually writing a book now on the impact of Africa SMEs, both on the continent um, and here in the United States. And I think that he raised the importance of having this strategic business relationship uh, with the African continent, knowing that for job creation, knowing that for the growth of the middle class, it's got to be a business-to-business -business connection. So I think he did that, and I do see those things as things that can move forward. And the last point I want to make is one thing, I've worked for both Republican and Democratic administrations as a chief of mission, as an ambassador. And one of the areas where we've had the most bipartisanship on has been the Africa region. Uh, even today, we have Electrify Africa, which is a bipartisan um, uh, legislation. We have a GOA. So I'm hoping that that same kind of spirit of bipartisanship mm -hmm. to keep some of these things Ambassador, continues we'll, into the we'll next administration. We'll continue on that 